Welcome back to What's Now. If you're worried about your financial health, well, Farnoosh Tarabi has some great ideas for you. She also suggests building up your emergency fund. Here's more. Many of us have included financial resolutions as part of our goals for 2020. In fact, a recent poll from Chase Bank says that more than 80% of consumers plan to save more this year. We have personal finance expert Farnoosh Tarabi here today to offer tips on how to create healthy savings habits and goals for 2020. Welcome, Farnoosh. Thank you for having me. So what are some of the top financial resolutions this year, and why do they matter? Yeah, it's so nice to know that Americans have their finances top of mind at the beginning of the year. Let's hope that it's still top of mind by the end of the year. I think with 2020, it feels like not just a new year, but it is a new decade. And so it's really bringing out in us um, all of our visions and hopes and dreams. And along the way, having money helps. So the big financial resolution that I'm seeing is to save money. You just mentioned that amazing poll that found uh, Chase found that 80% of consumers want to save more this year than last year. I think that's part of the excitement of, of it being 2020, but also the reality, which is that to you know, overcome uh, some of the unexpected twists and turns in life, having a savings cushion is a matter of necessity. Which having a savings cushion, it really is absolutely essential. It is. I know surveys have found that, um, you know, we live paycheck to paycheck, many of us, and if we had to come up with something as little as $400 in a pinch, for many of us it would be a challenge. And that's really sobering. Um, so that really just highlights the importance of saving, the need to save. Um, and so now is a better time than ever. And what can someone do to start and maintain a savings habit? Well, habit is the operative word. There you said it. So the, the trick really is a few, a few steps. One is to um, make it simple. So if you feel overwhelmed, oh, I want to save thousands of dollars this year, that alone, that statement can deter someone from even beginning. So be good to yourself. Start small with a dollar a day you know, and, and see where that takes you. But it's really important to just start. Um, secondly, if you want to make this a habit, uh, take the work out of it. You know, lean on some of these automations that are readily available to us. So I'm a Chase Financial Education Ambassador, and one of the features that I absolutely love in the Chase app is the auto save feature, which allows me to tell the app how often I want to save, how much I want to save, whether it's a dollar a day or $10 a week or whatever. And guess what? My work is done. And so I can move on with my life and then autosave does the work for me, uh, which is important because we know that left to our own devices, it's a lot harder for us to save. If, if someone told me every week, go to the bank and give the bank $5, I, I'm going to find other things to do. <laughs> but if the app is doing it for me, if autosave is doing it for me, it's, it's fail proof. And it's, it's just more likely that you will get to your goal. Um, so yeah, start there. And we're talking all about resolutions right now. What are some financial resolutions besides savings that you recommend? Well, I think that before you come up with sort of your resolution is, is really thinking about where you want to be this time next year. So by the end of 2020, what do you hope that you will have accomplished? Is it to, you know, be in your own home, to be married, to have a family? Um, there's, there's, that's personal. And so I'm not going to decide on that. But I will say that once you figure that out, um, then the work is to kind of think about, well, how am I going to get there? And so if it's a matter of getting out of debt or saving more or investing more aggressively, I think you'll have more clarity around the financial resolution once you anchor it to a personal life goal. And any other tips or where can we get more information? So for more information, check out chase.com forward slash auto save. And just as parting advice, don't keep your resolution to yourself. Tell your friends, a colleague, a money buddy that you want to save and together stay accountable. Will do. Well, thank you so much, Farnoosh, for keeping us healthy and giving us some encouragement for the new year. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of What's Now. We appreciate you being here. Tune in every morning at 9 a.m. for more What's Now, 8 a.m. for Mountain Connections. We'll see you next time.